It's a double dose of art tips. You ready? Let's do this. Fight! Today's video is made possible by my supporters on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you too can support the creation of my upcoming artwork, videos, lessons, and all of my delightfully creative habits while earning awesome rewards of your own, like free high-res drawings, paintings, and early release content, and even discounts on commissioned artwork. Sign up for free at Patreon.com. How's it going, everybody? This is Derek Stewart. Thanks for checking out my video. Today we're going to do a quick one with a time lapse of uh, Cami from Street Fighter 2. This is actually based off of uh, the cosplay work uh, by Nick the Pixie, uh, is, which is her uh, Instagram handle. You should check her out. Um, but uh, again, quick video talking just mostly about um, real quick art tips. And this is just kind of um, um, not specific drawing tips. This is more of a like a philosophical um, uh, perspective, if you will. The first one is uh, when I when I first did this drawing, uh, I wasn't feeling well. I, I remember last video, I, I kind of said I was coming down with some uh, allergies because it's just you know, springtime; it's in the air. I thought, you know, allergies. I'm not. I don't normally get those, but um, I was starting to feel something, and then I came down with a cold, and it was bad. It was like really bad. Like couldn't stay out of bed for several days. It's, it really sucked, believe me. Um, <clears throat> uh, but I really didn't want to lose, um, I, I didn't want to lose uh, my edge when it came to drawing. So I decided to c commit some time, just a, a little bit amount of, of time, to, uh, you know, get, in, get, into, uh, get into the sketchbook and doodle and try a couple of things out. And um, and I felt well enough uh, towards the beginning of the the, um, the cold <laughs> to uh, to do this one of um, Cami. And um, <clears throat> basically, the the philosophical tip here <laughs> is uh, it's a little bit when it comes to, to drawing or being being creative and you want to get better. Uh, it it uh, it just takes a little bit of time every day. It's a little bit like uh, working out. You know, it's it's always harder the first day back in the gym, or it's always harder the first day back, you know, out on the street running or whatever. Um, same thing goes <clears throat> with, uh, with drawing. You want to make sure that you're constantly uh, giving yourself time. It doesn't need to be a lot of time. I say like five, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, or set up a time with friends to just sketch. It doesn't have to be anything like a masterpiece. Just sit down, sketch, uh, stay loose, and, and keep trying. Even if you feel like complete shit, sit down, draw. And it's very therapeutic, so there's there's got to be some healing factors for one thing, but it's also great to just make sure that you're staying sharp. The other thing to uh, to point out is, as I mentioned um, at, uh, earlier in the video, uh, I did this in Procreate, which is a completely brand new tool for me. Um, uh, usually use Sketchbook, Sketchbook Pro or Photoshop. Procreate is completely new, and I heard a lot of good things about it, but I wanted to try it and kind of expand my horizons. And I'm glad that I did, because I feel like I'm seriously considering making this a, a primary uh, a digital art tool. And I think one of the important takeaways from that is that, um, you know, daring to try new things uh, creatively um, is, is an excellent way to help yourself grow as an artist. So um, I, I would highly recommend getting outside of your comfort zone, getting outside of just drawing with a pen or just drawing with a pencil or just drawing in digital art. Try hitting the sketchbook, you know, traditional art. Or if you're a traditional artist, try hitting um, uh, the digital art or try clay or whatever. Um, I think you'll see a lot of uh, uh, exponential growth uh, by doing that. Anyway. That is all I've got for you today. Thanks for checking out the video. I will see you guys next time.